Uh, awesome guys, great to see you here again on my channel. Today I'm going to do a PMR two-way radio review. Uh, and specifically, I remember a viewer last year asked me about uh, which uh, walkie-talkies, PMR radios can I use if I'm a soft air player. And back then I recommended him uh, these black retivists, but today I have this, I found uh, recently a special version that claims to be specifically designed for airsoft players and uh, that's why I have today the Topcom Twin Talker 9500 Airsoft Edition. And guys, uh, this seems to be a really nice set in military green and you can already see the <laughs> soft air players walking around here looking like special forces. Uh, I think the, sometimes the soft air players overdo it a little bit. So guys, uh, let's quickly look. What I'm gonna do in part two, I'm just quickly do, gonna do an unboxing, show you what's inside the package. And then in part three, we're gonna do a range test. These say 10 kilometers range, which honestly I find a little bit unrealistic because uh, these radios are PMR446. They only have 0.5 watts output power. So let's say you are somewhere where there are lots of open pastures. Uh, no obstructions, you can get a very uh, high range as opposed to you are somewhere where there's a lot of uh, buildings or trees and stuff like that. That really sucks up your range. That's why I'm always gonna do the range test in part three and go to my uh, set distance points so that I can get a idea of how the radios perform uh, always in the same uh, test scenario. Uh, guys, before I digress any further, um, only last thing, um, you can head over to my channel page if you want. I show this to you here. Uh, there are a lot of other radio reviews in the radio section. Uh, you can check this out. There's a designated playlist for these kind of videos that I'm doing here. Um, also, you have tuned in. Let's have a look at these airsoft radios. Uh, let's get started. Now, guys, let's have a closer look at these uh, two-way radios, the Topcom Twin Talker 9500. Airsoft edition. Um, I'm kind of curious uh, about the build quality. So let's have a look inside the box. And as you can see, it seems that this is like a double package. So you have two individual units in here. Let's see how I can get this out. So we have uh, one radio and you have the second radio. So it's basically a bundle package of two individual radios. And uh, as far as I could see, these uh, do not come with a ch charging station, but instead they come with an individual charger each. So you have two chargers and a security headset. So let's put one to the side and uh, unbox one. So first thing we're gonna find is the security headset, which we're gonna take a closer look at in a second. And then this should be the radio itself. Let's pull this out right here. Should be pretty straightforward. And as you can see, it has this uh, green uh, army kind of color. Push the talk button. Uh, one difference with the Topcom is a lot of PMR446 radios, they just show you the channel. The Topcom shows you the frequency. It has some rubberized material at the side. Uh, charging con contacts, they are for a docking station, but unfortunately docking station is not included. Instead, you have the headset connector and then here, the charge port for the supplied power supply, which should be somewhere down here. So let's take this out as well. You see a manual, maybe some small product catalog. And uh, guys, if you're in the States, uh, you should look for FMRS and GMRS. Uh, batteries are also included, rechargeable ones, obviously. And then it's always this little bit of folding packaging, a little bit tricky to get out. Here we see the charging adapter. Obviously that will be different, uh, I suppose, based on your country. Uh, in Germany, we have this kind of connector if you're in the States or the UK, that should look different. So here, here you can charge them up, which we're gonna do in just a second. And uh, the headset, that's also what I wanted to show you, is really this small security headset. And uh, I think this is 2.5 millimeter uh, connector. Here's a comparison, this is the 3.5 millimeter. Guys, I don't know how you call this in inches, uh, one quarter inch or whatever. We have the metric system, so uh, I'm going to stick with millimeters. In any case, you can just plug this in here. And then obviously in a very uh, stealthy manner, you can use this uh, for push to talk and talk into the microphone here uh, and cl clip that to your clothes. Or apparently it seems to have a switch for a Vox function. 
So uh, the, the moment you talk, this should transmit. Not sure how well this is gonna uh, re respond to wind. Uh, I know uh, when we, uh, in the military, we had these big, like almost, I mean, maybe you have seen it, these backpack kind of radios, and you had like this, guys, I don't know the English word for it, but it's like uh, when you pick up a phone, like these big things to communicate, and we would always put something over to, uh, so that there's no dust coming in. So we put some uh, plastic on top and talk through it. Um, and, and it would still uh, work pretty fine, um, but I digress. So, it, I mean, it's not a military radio, it's a license free PMR radio, guys. And uh, this is a security style headset. So, from all I can see, this looks fairly nice for soft air because I don't want to draw this out too long, but that's how you get started. Always make sure you use this kind of flap so if you ever need to change the batteries, you can uh, take them out easily. And that uh, concludes the unboxing. Um, and we are ready to charge those radios up. Let's put the belt clip back on and then quickly turn it on. Kind of curious to see how it looks like. Uh, yeah, guys, so nice backlit display. But before we're gonna use them, we obviously we're gonna charge them up. As you may already know from my other videos, uh, here you can see my charging uh, bench, so to speak. Um, let's just uh, flip on the power and look at the charging indicator um, because usually you have a docking station and you see a charging indicator uh, light in a docking station and here it's just in a display i hope this gets into focus uh, so it's charging up uh, what i forgot to mention just a second ago is when you turn them on uh, obviously you regulate the volume up here and then if you want to change the channel you push that menu button and as you can see, channel indicator flashes, and then you can switch to the channels. Apparently there are eight, and then it goes back to channel one. So guys, I'm not gonna dive too in too deep with uh, into the menu. Um, instead, I'm just letting them charge for a while. Uh, I'm really digging the color. Uh, not every day that you have these military green style radios. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna uh, test the security headset. Uh, my suspicion is that if you're in a windy, windy environment, maybe this is gonna react to it. But for now, uh, walking outside, I'm just gonna uh, use the built-in microphone. So let's charge them up, and then tomorrow I'm gonna do the range test, which will be part three, which you can see the navigation. So for you, it will be instant. So let's jump to the range test of these walkie-talkies. Range test, uh, range test of the Topcom uh, PMR radios. Test point uh, in the airsoft edition, test point number one with about 420 feet of distance. Test point number one with 420 feet. Uh, guys, quality should be really excellent. Range test, range test, and we are already at test point number two, guys, of these PMR radios. And we have 790 feet of distance of the Topcom Airsoft Edition uh, walkie-talkies, uh, two-way radios. That's point number two with 790 feet. Range test, range test, guys. Uh, already at test point number two with uh, 1,250 feet. And guys, uh, really, we have an amazing spring day. Uh, really awesome weather. I'm really enjoying this to go outside uh, and doing these range tests. Test point number three with 1,250 feet should be still loud and clear. So guys, range test, range test uh, of the Topcom PMR radios. Test point number four with about 1,540 feet, 1,540 feet. And usually the sound quality here is also pretty good. Uh, let's see how, how, long, how well the radios perform the further I go. Uh, let's get going to the next test point. Right now we are at test point number four with 1,540 feet. Range test, range test, uh, test point number five of the Topcom uh, PMR radios. Uh, test uh, uh, range is 2,000 feet, and I noticed some other guys are also transmitting on the same frequency, so I hope you uh, it doesn't interfere with the range test right now. Test point number five, 2,000 feet. Uh, range test, guys, range test, uh, this time at test point number six, test point number six with 2,300 feet, 2,300 feet should still be audible. Test point number six with 2,300 feet. So guys, range test, range test of these uh, Topcom radios. Test point number seven with 2,600 feet, 2,600 feet, or half a mile, about 
half a mile. Uh, let's see how these videos perform. Usually the quality starts to deteriorate somewhat. Uh, to point number seven. So guys, range test, range test, test point number eight with 3,200 feet, 3,200 feet. Uh, let's see how these radios perform. Or 3,200 feet or 0 0.6 miles approximately, test point number eight. Range test, range test guys from Topcom PMR radio. Test point number nine with uh, 3,900 feet or three quarters of a mile. Uh, let's see whether you can still hear this loud and clear. Test point number nine with three, approximately three quarters of a mile. Topcom uh, radio. Range test, range test guys of the Topcom PMR radios at test point number 10 with 4,900 feet, 4,900 feet or almost a mile. Uh, let's see whether we can still hear that. Um, the trees have started to become green so that usually eats up some range. Test point number 10, almost a mile. This concludes the range test. Awesome guys, this concludes the range test of the Topcom 9500 airsoft edition two-way radios and as you have seen these radios perform quite nicely and i took some notes after looking at the footage again and from what i could find these radios really have a very nice build quality uh, i really like the look and feel of these radios uh, so far i'm very happy with it um, waterproof i think the packaging said ip x2 so that's uh, i think a really low uh, rating so maybe a little bit of water uh, it can handle maybe very light rain, but even there I would be cautious, so I don't consider them really waterproof. Simply because if you plan to do to play soft air, soft air outside and you have rainy weather or something like that, I think you have to have a higher rating. I don't know the exact rating, but let's say for example you have IP67, that would be really waterproof or even submersible, so those are really strong. Uh, excuse me, radios with a really strong waterproof rating and uh, I encourage you to uh, familiarize yourself with these uh, different IPX uh, water ratings so that you don't uh, accidentally grab the wrong radio. From the range test for PMR446, I think the range is pretty good. The sound quality was really, really clear. Uh, which is another thing I like about these radios because uh, sometimes you have uh, radios that are a little bit more on the budget side and while the uh, more affordable radios may even get the same kind of range they don't necessarily have the same clarity uh, but I, like I mentioned multiple times before uh, basically these PMR446 radios they all have the same kind of output power of 0.5 watts so the only difference you get is from the different components that you have in there like the microphone or speaker or the antenna and uh, the other internals. So the Topcom performed really good. I like the cl uh, clarity. So overall, I give, the, give, give these radios a thumbs up. And if you want, head over to my channel page. I can show this to you here because there you can find a bunch of other radios from various manufacturers. So you can do a little bit of uh, comparison before you make a purchasing decision and see what radios has the right accessories for you. Uh, like I told you, these Topcom radios, they come with the security style headset and this push to talk uh, microphone right here that you can clip on. Only thing I would kind of recommend to you is maybe go to the menu because you see it always makes this beeping noise. So if you transmit and then release, you always have this tone. So that's probably a little bit unpleasant to have this in your ear uh, while you do, while you play soft air or whatever other purpose you use these radios for. But luckily that should be no problem switching this off in the menu. So guys, this concludes this review. Awesome for tuning in. Have fun with your new radios, uh, no matter which uh, brand you choose. And I see you as a subscriber in the next video. Uh, all the best to you, take care. And because you just watched the review of the Topcom 9500 Airsoft Edition, you may also be interested in comparing uh, this uh, radio against uh, another brand. For example, here the Red Florians. Uh, those perform very nicely as well. And keep in mind that if you're in the United States, uh, you shouldn't use the PMR446, but the FRS version will also has a higher output power that you can benefit from. Uh, I'm really amazed about how many people have already subscribed. You can subscribe right now as well. I see you in the next video. Take care.